Hi guys, it's Sam and I don't even really know where to start with today's video. I'm not going to go into loads of detail because I don't want to get upset. But those of you who watched my last video will know that I said it was Vlogmas Day 1, which it was. Um, and that I'd see you tomorrow for the next video and, you know, all that. Um, it's now the 23rd of December. So, you know, quite quite a while later. Um, basically, what happened was on the 13th, so the day after, you know, my, my first vlog went live. Um, Major, our oldest horse, he, he colicked and um, we ended up having to put him to sleep, basically. It just, the vet found that his heart was just working too hard. Um, and it, it was all really, it was quick. He had his last checkup a few months ago and everything was fine. So, you know, it, it's been quite quick. Um, so yeah, we made the decision to have him put to sleep as opposed to putting him through any medical procedures because he was, he was too old. He was nearly 24 and he wasn't, you know, in, he was healthy, but he wasn't in the best of health for a horse that age. You know, he struggles to hold weight and, you know, those questions as to whether he might be developing Cushing's, things like that. So that's all I'm really going to say on the matter. If you follow my Instagram or Facebook, you will have already known. And I just want to say thank you so much for all the support that I've been shown on both of those platforms. It really means a lot. Sorry that I've not really got back to everyone personally or like individually, but, you know, I hope you can understand. Anyway, I don't, I don't want to just dwell on that. You know, I've always been told that the pain that we feel when we lose a horse is just, it's the price we have to pay for the amount of love that we felt when they're with us. And I think that, I do think that rings very true. So yeah, so anyway, getting into today's video now that we're past the, the sad news. Um, I'm going to do a, sorry, I'm going to do a what I feed my horses. Um, this is by no means uh, what you should feed your horse. I mean, I think you should feed this brand, but <laughs> this is not like a what to feed your horse. This is what I feed my horses. Always be sure to contact a nutritionist before you make any changes to your horse's feed. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Right, so I've moved you because... Sorry. I moved you because the light up there, if I don't stand with like my hat blocking it. Also, believe it or not, this is not sparkles, it's rain. But yeah, so anyway, getting into it. The brand that I feed my horses is Pure. I feed Pure Feed Company. Um, that's just, I've been feeding it for a few months now and I've recently swapped Philly onto it as well. And I am really, really happy with the results that I'm seeing. The horses are all really healthy. They're in great condition. So... Yeah, I would, I would highly recommend Pure Feed. Um, they're really helpful as well if you have any problems. You know, I've been in contact with them a few times and they are brilliant. They will answer any of your questions and I have a lot of questions. So yeah, they're really, really good. So yeah, getting into it. Firstly, what I use is this pan scoop to measure what they have. I don't know what the weight is in it. It's just what I use. Um, and I feed... I only actually feed two different types, so I will show you. I'm filming this today because I went to the feed shop this morning, so... There we go. Sorry, I'm sure that was really attractive. See what I mean about the light? Yeah, I'm sure that was great for you. But, um, yeah, so I went to the feed shop this morning, so I have bags that I can show you. So the first pure feed that I feed is the Pure Easy. As you can see... I'll talk a bit more about them all in a second. I'm just going to show you the bags for now. I also feed the Pure Condition. And then the last thing I feed isn't Pure. It's just an extra that I put in myself. And that is the Allen & Page Fast Fiber. So the reason I love Pure Feed so much is because not only are my horses happy and healthy on it, but it is really, really easy and cost effective. Um, it's a complete feed. So, for example, three of the ponies literally just get Pure Easy. That's all they get with a couple of electrolytes and that's it. So it is really, really good. Um, you wouldn't, To be honest, you probably don't even have to feed the electrolytes. That's just my preference. Yeah, so that is really good. 
for that reason. You know, it's easy, it's convenient. It's cheap, it's 14 a bag. Well, where, where I get it from, it's 14 a bag. So, you know, it's really, really cost effective as opposed to some of what I've fed in the past, you know, where I've maybe had them on a low-carb balancer and chaff, you know, where we're paying a lot of money for it. So, yeah, it is definitely a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and put the feed in the bins and then I will show you what each horse has individually. So, in regards to what the horses have, um, all of the ponies get pure easy, as I said, so that's Jem, Hope, Merle and Marley Sparky. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they all get pure easy. Um, so what they get each day, I don't feed the exact same amounts every single day. I just feed the same feed every day. So, for example, on a day where, say, I've taken Jem cross country and she's done lots of work, she will definitely be getting a full scoop. Um, whereas a day like today where... Sorry, have to go and check Marley. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, um, but on a day like today, where none of them have been ridden today, they've not been worked, and the field that they're on, as much as yes, it is winter, um, they've only actually been on that for three days now, they've only been back on it, so the grass is actually really quite good on it, it's quite rich, so they don't need loads of feed, you know, they're, they're definitely not bad doers, these ponies, so yeah, they're... Today, they're going to get just over half a scoop each, but they all have sort of from half to one scoop each a day. I don't feed breakfast at the moment. I will do when the weather goes really cold, but it's been quite mild this year. So up to now, then they don't need it. So yeah, I will go ahead and give the ponies all that and then see what's next. So when I say just over half, I mean like that split between two of them. Marley is only having half at the moment because he is smaller than the rest of them and he got told off by the vet for being too fat. Well, I got told off by the vet for him being too fat. Not like, it's not to worry about fat, but you know, he's a bit porky. He's only three year old, so I don't want to feel like I have to work him to keep the weight off. You know, I don't want to be doing too much with him. I'd rather work him because I want to, not because I have to. So yes, next is the pure condition. And honestly, I've had Philly on this for like, three weeks and the difference I've seen is ridiculous she's put so much weight on it's amazing um those of you who don't know I have murder keeping weight on Philly she is your typical thoroughbred she doesn't hold weight she stresses it all off so finding a feed that keeps the weight on her is really important and now I have so that is amazing so what she has she actually gets two feeds of a night so I give her two bowls and she just sort of nibbles throughout the night and I know she does this because in summer when they come in over daytime they get given their feed of a morning and it's the same thing she gets two bowls and she'll just sort of like eat throughout the day as and when she wants it she's not a particularly greedy horse and it's the same thing I don't give her breakfast because she has the two feeds overnight and given her breakfast she'd just take too long and then she goes out and rolls and I don't want to risk her colicking so now that I've got all that out the way she gets a full scoop of pure condition in each feed. So, just scoop like that. So then that's it for the pure feed and all that's left is the fiber beet other than supplements. Sorry if you can hear the car. I'm just going to carry on anyway because I'm on a time crunch. So I called it fibre beet, it's fast fibre. We used to feed fibre beet. I've seen no difference between what they are other than this soaks in 60 seconds and fibre beet takes 45 minutes. So that's why we use this. So I feel it gets half a pan in, well half a pan dry in each feed and then it's soaked. And then Hope and Sparky, they were both looking a little bit more on the slimmer side. So as opposed to feeding them massive feeds, and given them more of the pure, we decided to give them a quarter of a scoop of fib fast fibre, sorry, a quarter of a scoop of fast fibre each as well, just to give them a little bit extra in their tummies, and it's working really well, they're keeping their weight nicely now, so I'll do that. So 
so that's it for feed. In terms of supplements, um, I sort of go through phases. Sometimes I feed loads, sometimes I don't. Um, they all have an electrolyte. This is the finish line apple a day electrolyte. They're currently having the same one, but orange a day, but it's full, so I can't lift it. But yeah, so Philly gets a full scoop and the ponies all get half. Same thing, if they did more work, they'll get more electrolytes if they've been sweaty. But yeah, a normal day like today, the ponies just get half a scoop each. What I meant to say there as well is, um, as much as yeah, I, I showed you apple a day and they're getting orange a day, there is no difference other than the flavour. They're both exactly the same. And they've got added potassium, I think. Yeah, there's extra potassium in them, so it's really good, especially if they get sweaty and for encouraging them to drink. Next supplement I feed is just for Philly, and I feed her the NAF Daily Gut Health. Gem knows I'm making her dinner. <laughs> I feed her the NAF Daily Gut Health. Um, being a thoroughbred and being quite stressy, we worry about her getting ulcers, so we like to make sure that she is just on some sort of balancer. So, for example, this says everyday support for gut balance with pre and probiotic yeast, so prebiotics and probiotics are really important so she gets this she just gets one scoop um with this the loading rate for a horse you give them two scoops while you're sort of introducing it to them and then the maintenance so just like every day after that they just get one scoop so she's got that and now the last supplement it is a supplement really that i feed um it's in an old tub for that. Um, this is for Merlin and he gets fed magnesium oxide. Um, if you don't know what that is, that tends to be the active ingredient in most karmas. Um, so often if you find that a horse is very stressy or, you know, spooky, flighty, anything like that, whatever word you want to call it, um, they can actually have magnesium deficiency, which the vet and we think that from putting him on magnesium oxide and the improvement it made, we think that Merlin's definitely got a slight magnesium deficiency. I mean, there's nothing wrong with him. The vets don't see the need to do blood tests or anything, but we just feed him. He get. I've got this scoop, which is the equivalent to like two teaspoons. So he gets two teaspoons a day. So I'll just pop that in. Um, I will say it wasn't a miracle cure. Like, you know, we still, as I was saying before, when I was bringing him in, we still have had loads and loads of trouble with him. He's a rescue and he's... You know, he's been a difficult one to sort of figure out. But it did definitely take the edge off. So we've just sort of stuck feeding it now. He's been on it for like three years. So yeah, it's it's more habit than anything else that he gets it. Um, if we get to a really stressy time of year, like bonfire night, or probably starting in a few days for New Year, we'll be feeding it to all of them because it, can also, it also relaxes their muscles. So if they're all tense and worked up from you know, fireworks and things, hopefully it'll help. I don't, I don't know, it's one of those, it could just be, you know, I could imagine that it helps, but, oh well. Another thing I like to feed, oops, just lost a sprout. <laughs> I like to feed some sort of fruit and veg, um, obviously not too much, you know, I'm not gonna make them fat and ill, and laminitis and all that, but, I don't know, I like feeding it, my preference. Yeah, I don't know, there's not really a reason for it, but I think it's just nice for them. So I'll throw that in and then I will, yeah, give them their feeds. I think that's all. Oh, in terms of hay, uh, when it comes to hay, unpopular opinion maybe, I know a lot of people weigh it, blah, blah, blah. I feed Adlib. I feed Adlib hay to all of them. They all get hay. They don't get haylage because, again, the worry of Philly getting ulcers. Haylage is not good for horses prone to ulcers, which, as far as we know, she's not, but we treat her as if she is. Kind of like if you have a fat horse, like Jim, who's never had laminitis, you still <laughs> treat them as if they're prone to it because you don't want them to get it. So, same sort of thing as that. Um, so, yeah, they all get Adlib hay. They get two nets a night each, um, varying sizes depending on how much they eat just to make sure they've always got a little bit left when we come back the next day. 
then yeah i think that's it for what they feed as i said guys this isn't like a you should feed this most definitely not i would rather you just consult a nutritionist and ask them or your vet just you know ask someone for advice if you're not sure always read the bag for the feed um yeah i think that's all i've got to say on it so i hope you've enjoyed today's video sorry that it started on a bit of a sad note but you know that's the reality of having horses eventually you know it's our responsibility to decide when enough is enough so yeah i hope you've enjoyed today's video with the feed and all that i hope you found it interesting if you have please be sure to like comment and subscribe not that bell icon i feel feel professional saying that. um but yeah so thank you so much guys and i will see you all in a few days time for the next video bye